Hi, my name is uh, Chris McDougall. I am a testicular cancer patient and um, uh, I'm on my last cycle of BEP chemo. Um, my oncologist prescribed for me on the sixth day of uh, each cycle to take Nulasta, which is a drug that helps um, your white blood cell count rise. Uh, it does so by exciting bone marrow in your body. And um, you know, it's, uh, when you undergo chemo, especially uh, BEP, which is bleomycin, uh, cisplatin, and etoposide, uh, your white blood cell counts tend to go down and you have risk of infection. So by taking Nulasta, um, it helps your body to be able to generate white blood cells so that you can fight infection more and not get sick. Um, so let's demonstrate right here. Um, so we have um, a shot and it's a, it's a self-administered shot. Um, generally, um, and it depends on your doctor, uh, I was originally prescribed to have it as a patch that would uh, be on me and um, you know, in 24 hours it would, it would automatically um, you know, inject into me, but because of insurance issues and things like that, um, I was, uh, ended up having to be prescribed it as a self-administered shot. Um, you know, today my friend Neo here is going to help me demonstrate um, how to, to do the shot. And uh, it's actually very painless, uh, very easy. Actually, I could do it myself, but I, since I'm videotaping too, um, it's easier if he does it. And uh, he's a he's a registered nurse, um, and so you know everything's safe, and we try to do it as painless as possible. And he'll show you how easy it is to to actually do it, so you can actually do it yourself if you need to. Um, for those that need to to take Nulasta um, as part of their chemo cycle or things like that, like we hope that this is uh, just. In general, very helpful. Um, one side effect uh, that's that's well known with Nulasta is uh, causing bone and muscle pain. Um, I haven't experienced in in my last two cycles, uh, fortunately. But um, for those that have experienced it, um, they've said that uh, taking Claritin as a precaution really helps a lot um, because I didn't want to risk any you know any side effects and bone pain and things like that. Uh, I've been taking Claritin. Um, uh, notes regular Claritin, not Claritin D, because Claritin D is a dr uh, uh, decongestant. Um, this is uh, this is the Claritin that I take. Uh, liquid gels, I just take it every 24 hours. Uh, for today, I took it maybe a, an hour or two before um, taking it in the last, uh, and then the next two days, I usually take it either the next day or the next two days, um, depending on how I feel. Uh, so far, so good, no bone pain. Um, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed that. You know, no bone pain this time either. Um, you know, sometimes you'll get like a little, um, like your muscle twitch or whatever. Um, that's what I've had like the last cycle. But um, other than that, no real um, side effects that I know of as far as pain goes. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, we'll switch cameras. And this is Neo. <laughs> so we're going to. Uh, he's going to show the needle. It's a, it's actually. A, it looks more intimidating than it actually is. Um, it's uh, it's actually very very short, and uh, uh, when it goes in me, it's actually I hardly feel it at all. It's going to be going into my uh, stomach area right here in the fat. Um, it can either go into you know it's it's meant to be uh, what's it called, Neil? Like uh, subcutaneous. Subcutaneous. So that means that it goes into a fatty area of your body. Um, for me, what's worked is is the is the flap here on the belly. Um, some people get it on the underside of their arm, uh, and some people get it on their butt. You know, so uh, Neo's going to rub alcohol on the area. You know, normal. If I if I'd be doing this myself, I'd you know obviously just rub the area myself. Um, but since I'm holding the camera, it makes it a little easier. Um, and then he's going to um, move the needle. See, it's a. And the dog's in the way, but you know, and he's making sure that there are no bubbles. Yeah, so it's a little dark. Let's uh, take that. Side. So you know, he's going to, and then so he's going to grip the muscle or the the area, and then one, two, three, sticks in, and then he's going to inject it. Move it. Hardly felt a thing. And then he's going to pull the safety measure. And then we have the disposal 
area right there. So we'll put that in the disposal area. And that's pretty much it. Nice and simple, easy, and uh, you know, hopefully no bone pain, no uh, pain from that. And then afterwards we we dispose of this uh, in a safe place because you know these are um, you know need to be disposed of safely. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you very much.